In this lab, you need to configure a GRE tunnel. So in this lab, we need to configure a GRE tunnel between customer one and customer two. We've been told that we need to configure the customer routers to use DHCP addresses on the internet interfaces and static IP addresses on the internal interfaces. So let's start with customer router one. I'll go to configuration mode and then go on to gigabit 001. The interface is currently shut. So I'm gonna no shut the interface and then I'll configure an IP address using DHCP. As you can see, an IP address has been allocated via DHCP. An IP address of 8.8.10.2 has been allocated. I'll go on to interface gigabit 000, no shut the interface and configure an IP address of 10.1.1.1 slash 24. So show IP interface brief. We can see that both interfaces are up up. This is the IP address on the internet facing interface. This is the IP address on the inside interface. Internet address was assigned via DHCP, internal or customer facing interface. IP address was configured manually. That happens because the ISP routers are configured as DHCP servers. So show IP DHCP binding. We can see that this IP address was allocated to this MAC address. Now we see a DHCP conflict here, and that's because IP address 8.8.10.1 is part of the DHCP pool. All IP addresses in the subnet are, but the router has this IP address configured on this interface, so the ISP doesn't allocate its own IP address to the client, but allocates the next IP address in the pool. So again, show IP interface brief on the customer router. This IP address was allocated via DHCP and the router can ping the ISP router. I can do something similar on customer two. So customer router two show IP interface brief both interfaces are administratively shut down. So interface gigabit 001, no shut, IP address, DHCP, interface gigabit 000. And while I was typing that, an IP address was allocated via DHCP to the router. IP address on gigabit 000 is 10.1.2.1 slash 24 mask. I'll no shut that interface. So show IP interface brief. Both IP addresses are configured, one dynamically and one statically. Show IP route shows us the routing table. Notice a gateway of last resort has been configured and the router also has a default route to its ISP. So ping 8811.1. The router can ping its default gateway or ISP router. Can it ping customer router one? So ping 8.8.10.2, yes it can. We could do a trace as an example to that address and you can see that the traffic is going via the internet. In other words, traffic is traversing these links to get to customer router one. As an example, the second hop is this IP address. Third hop is this IP address. So we have IP connectivity between customer one and customer two. The next step is to configure a DHCP pool 
on the customer routers to allocate IP addresses to the PCs in the network. So on customer router one, conf t, IP DHCP pull, and you could call this anything. I'm just gonna call it PC. In the exam, follow the instructions, but here there's a little bit of leeway. You can decide what you want the pool name to be. Network is gonna be this. Subnet mask is gonna be that. Default router will be 10.1.1.1. So show IP DHCP binding. We don't have any bindings yet. Let's look at the PC. So on its configuration, we need to configure it to use a DHCP. Go to desktop, command prompt, IP config. Notice it has got an IP address, 10.1.1.2, ping 10.1.1.1. PC can ping customer router one. And on the customer router, we can see again that there was an address conflict. So the router allocated 10.1.1.2 rather than 10.1.1.1 to the client. You could create an exclusion range for your pool if you wanna make sure that a separate range of addresses are used for the client PCs. We need to do something similar on customer router two, so conf t, IP DHCP pool, PC, network will be 10.1.2.0 with the mask, slash 24 mask. A default router will be 10.1.2.1. So show IP DHCP binding, no bindings yet. Configure the PC to use DHCP. Go to desktop, command prompt, IP config, IP address has been allocated to the PC. So on the router, show IP DHCP binding, this IP address has been allocated to the PC. So we've successfully created DHCP pools on the customer routers to allocate IP addresses to the PCs. We now need to configure a GRE tunnel between customer router one and two so that the PCs can ping each other.